Now, kedgeri, which this mystery package is going to turn into, started life off in India as rice and lentils, and I think it was the English there who got rid of the lentils and added fish. For some reason, it always seemed to be smoked haddock, which I find too invasive a taste. I'm using salmon here. All I've done is poach it for about 15 minutes in a moderately hot oven with some water, 500 mils, salt and some torn up lime leaves. Just use lime zest if that's easier. And I want to use this liquid to cook the rice in. Just pour off this poaching liquid so that the flavours permeate into the rice. Now obviously you want the salmon kept warm but I wouldn't worry about putting it back in the oven, just stick the foil on and then off to the rice in the next bit. I am now going to start off with a nice wadge of butter, which I realise not maybe an authentically South East Asian flavouring, but certainly authentically one of my flavourings. Bit of vegetable oil just to stop it burning. And when that is fizzing and frothing a bit, just stick in this one finely chopped onion. Cook it, just let it soften a bit. And then, the holy trinity of aromatics, ground coriander, cumin, and turmeric, which I suppose is less of an aromatic and more of a gorgeous food dye. And when all these incredibly heady perfumes have permeated the onion. Just tip in, oh, this is 225 grams of rice basmati. I know it doesn't look like much, but it really does swell up. Now, we used to eat this for Sunday breakfast, but actually more just as often in the evening, kind of a nice, lovely Sunday supper because it's so comforting. I mean, this, this version is slightly more sprightly. And then, simply the liquid. Now, this is the easiest way of cooking rice, really, whatever you're doing, which is to say the absorption method. That's very simple. You just use twice the volume of liquid to rice. So, for example, I've had the 225 grams of rice and 500 mils of liquid. Heat as low as you can, and if you've got a really fierce hob, use a heat diffuser, clamp on a lid, and that should do it about 15 minutes, by which time all the liquid should be absorbed into the rice. Right, you see, the rice has absorbed all the liquid. It is so wonderfully yellow. Let me just have a quick taste. Perfect. Not very salty. I'm adding fish sauce later, so I don't want to you know, be too vicious with salt now. Now just get a fork and flake the salmon, by which I mean just going to slice it into chunks with the fork and it will begin to flake itself quite big at this stage because now all I'm going to do is upend the whole of this rice pan. Now let me just have a little... Mm. Oh, and the, the coral of the salmon against the almost psychedelic yellow. This rice is so wonderful. Now, I have about my person three hard-boiled eggs with really glorious yolk. Just quartered lengthways, but it doesn't really matter. As you can see, the yolk kind of falls out of its socket. Something about things which are sort of garnished or and decorated with hard-boiled eggs, it kind of reminds me of my childhood. The fish sauce seasoning. Not too much, get too salty, just a bit. Lime juice. In some moods, I can be moved to use the zest as well, but I think I'm going to be juice only now. And a really fat bunch of pungent coriander. Sort of wonderfully heady, this smell. Most on now. I'll just leave a bit again later for on the top. Right, a bit more of this leisurely work. I mean, look, lovely. I might give myself a modest portion. A French historian once said that the only safe way to eat in England was by having breakfast three times a day. Well, 
I don't take that cruel view, but I'm ready to give it a go.